Hey everyone, it's me and I'm here to do an elf haul. I um, I got a whole bunch of new things that I've never tried before, so this is kind of like a what's new at elf kind of video, so let's get into it. I got a humongous box right here waiting for me. Look how big this box is. It is huge and it's jam packed full of stuff. And I haven't tried any of this stuff, um, so let's get right into it. So the first thing I've actually, I just lied, um, I have been using one thing and it is the beauty blender that they have, the blending sponge. It is pink. Oh, I'm going to have to go grab it. Just give me one second. Okay, so I actually have been using this, so it's a little dirty. I'm sorry, but um, I actually used it today for my foundation. I've never used a blending sponge before, a beauty blender, but as you can see, it does get bigger because it won't fit back into this it's wet right now it's damp and it's very 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 soft so i don't know how a beauty blender blender feels like but i always hear how soft they are and they're easy to use this one is fantastic it blends out my makeup so easily and even onto the neck it just it feels wonderful so um, I use this side for underneath my eyes, and then I use this side to put all over my face. If you guys want to see an updated foundation routine from me, go ahead and leave a comment down below to let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So, that so far, I really, really like. Next thing in here is this five-piece eyeshadow set in the um, theme night, and it comes with an eyeliner. I got this specifically because I wanted to be a mermaid for Halloween, but I am not going to be a mermaid anymore. I'm actually going to be a bear. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might keep this for a giveaway, so that way, I don't know, I can do a giveaway for you guys and include this in there, okay? So if you guys want another giveaway and have this included, give me a thumbs up and let me know down below as well. All right, so that's the second thing. Like I said, I'm not going to obviously test these things if they're going to be, like if I'm not going to keep them, if they're like birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, giveaway gifts, whatever. Okay, next thing in here is uh, their new High Shine Liquid Lipstick and Crushed Berries. I wanted to see how well this is because I haven't really heard much about their liquid lipsticks and, you know, if I've, I really love liquid lipsticks. Um, oh, by the way, you guys, the lipstick that I'm wearing right now is from NYX and it is their Velvet Matte Lipstick and Volcano. So that's what's on my lips right now if you guys were curious. Uh, so let's test this out. Has no, actually it has a slight smell. It kind of smells like vanilla caramel a, a little bit, but here's, ooh. Um, it's very sticky, like really sticky. It's kind of streaky at first, but the pigment is, is there. I mean, it's pretty. It's very shiny as the things that I think I said it was a high shine liquid lipstick. Yep. So, I mean, it's going to be shiny. It's not going to be matte or anything, um, but it is pretty. It's actually really pretty. So, we'll see. We'll see how this is. I generally don't like sticky things on my lips. So, we'll see how that goes. And the next thing in here is a makeup mist and set in clear, which I'm actually going to use right now because I forgot that I got this. So, let's go ahead and open this baby up if I can because we all know how horrible I am with opening stuff but that was really easy so let's go ahead and smell it first uh, actually it doesn't smell like anything that's wonderful okay so let's spray some on my face whoo yes that feels amazing okay so it comes in this little bottle like this it's really really nice it felt really good on my face so so far I actually like that Okay, so next thing in here is a mascara primer, and I totally forgot I got this too, otherwise I would have worn it today, but uh, let's see, it says that it is transparent, but on the thing it looks like it's white. Let's open it up and see what color it actually is. It's actually white, so that'll be fun. If you don't get all the white off with your black mascara, you're going to have some white, but it looks like it's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test that out as well. Next thing in here is a lip stain in the color Crimson Crush. I wanted to try these because I've never tried these before. I don't even know if they've had these for a while. Maybe they have. I haven't been on e.l.f. in a very long time. And I actually bought all this stuff when it was buy one, get one half off. Because that's like the only time I ever shop e.l.f. even though it's already cheap. But anyway, it looks like this. The packaging is a little cheap looking. It doesn't smell like anything, but let's see what it looks like. Okay, kind of what I figured it was going to look like. I think I've had one of these before, to be honest. It's very, very 
patchy, not very uh, opaque. It's kind of sheer, but we'll see how it dries down, okay? We'll check back at the very end of this video and see how it dries down. Okay, next thing in here is the under eye concealer and highlighter in Fair and Glow, which again, I've never tried this before. I know this isn't new because I've seen this on there before, but we will uh, see how it goes. This is the concealer. We'll put that right here. Ooh. First of all, it's very creamy. It's kind of watery at the same time though. First impressions. It's really light though. It looked really good underneath the eyes and then the highlighter part now i'm a little confused because this highlighter looks like it's straight up white and i don't know how i feel about that yeah it looks like it's straight up white and it's so watery maybe i got a bad batch this is like really really watery and does it have a sheen at all i don't even think it has a sheen y'all okay let's see how these blend out let's see if the highlighter blends out to be more of a sheeny i don't know you guys the highlighter just looks really white well i may not use that side it doesn't look too too hot um the next thing in here is an eyelid primer and i've heard great things about this so i'm very excited to try this let's go ahead and open this i just want to see how it feels wow i really do suck at opening things like i truly honestly do i can't get this thing open for the life of me. Come on. It's like, and I'm trying to hurry because I'm, I need to get to work soon. <laughs> but anyway, this is the e.l.f. eyelid primer. Again, it just has that slight caramel smell. I think like all e.l.f. stuff has that. Hmm. It's very light, which is nice. And it's not sticky. It's actually pretty satiny and it blends out. So I think I'm going to enjoy that. The next thing in here is a lip color remover, Kiss It Goodbye lip color remover. I'm so excited to try this. I'm very excited to try it with a lip, liquid lipstick that I can never get off, like those um, Kylie Jenner ones. Can never get those off. So I'm going to definitely do a video about this because I'm very interested in, in myself, and I'll let you guys know how this works. Um, I also got a Luscious Liquid Lipstick and Ruby Slipper. Now, I've had these before. I don't think I've had Ruby Slipper before, but I have owned the Luscious Liquid Lipsticks before, and they were fabulous. So, again, I can never get these open. It's like I, I don't know. Like, I think I'm, like, foolproof to, like, all these things. But anyway, it's, let's go ahead and bring this color up because I'm very interested to see what it looks like. It takes forever to roll up because once it gets to the white thing, you still have to roll it all the way up to the sponge. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to put it right on top. Okay, so what is this? Is this a liquid lipstick it said? Because it's very sheer. Like, really, really sheer. Yeah. It says it's a luscious liquid lipstick, but it's more of a gloss than anything because it's it shears out to nothing, pretty much. It just has, like, a tint. So, I would not call this a luscious liquid lipstick. I would call it a luscious liquid lip gloss. That would look pretty. I mean, it is gorgeous. It's a really pretty color, but I don't know. I don't know what's happening with e.l.f. Okay, the next thing in here is the Beautifully Bare Smooth Matte Eyeshadow and Soft Beige. I was so excited to try this because it's from their new Beautifully Bare line, and I have been really loving, like, shadows that are creamier and are more bare. It again, doesn't really have a scent. Uh, we're going to put it right here. Ooh. Well, I can tell you it is definitely matte, and it kind of blends in with my skin. You can't really see it, but it's smooth. It's nice. It's beautiful. I love this. I cannot wait to wear this. So that's an A plus for me. The next thing is a foundation palette in light to medium. And I got this just because I've been more into foundations recently. Um, I've been trying to get more into foundations more and more. So I don't know. I think with the winter coming up, I don't sweat as much. But here's what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and give a little swatch on some of them just to see the consistency. That's nice. Oh, that's, that's actually a pretty perfect color that blends in pretty well with my skin. And some of these, you know, can actually use it as like a, these are actually really nice. They're very soft. They kind of turn into a powder form. 
they're nice. I like these. Now the other two darker shades, I don't know. I could probably use this one as a slight contour shade. It looks a little dark, but I like this so far. Okay, there's only one more thing in here, you guys. And this is, oh, there was something on the very bottom too. Oh, no. This is an Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow and Brushed Copper. And I got this because, I don't know, I just wanted to try their new Aqua Beauty line. Again, I'm into the cream shadows. This is really pretty. Let's put this over here. Oh, yes. Yes. That slight sheen. Again, it's a very light neutral color, but I like it. So if you guys want reviews on any of these, makeup tutorials, anything like that, let me know down below, and I will get back to you. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.